there, it's Ruth Sherman, CEO and Celebrity Speech Coach. There was a really interesting news item last week concerning how Shaquille O'Neal, the great basketball player who recently signed with the Boston Celtics, conducted a holiday concert by the famed Boston Pops Orchestra. Now, we know Bostonians love their sports teams, and rightfully so, but they are notoriously slow to warm to new players. We also know they love their Boston Pops Orchestra, which is a professional orchestra known for its crowd-pleasing concerts. Now, this story interested me in particular because I have a degree in classical music and I know that it takes enormous skill to conduct an orchestra. But I also know that musicians who play for the Boston Pops are of sufficiently high caliber that they can basically conduct themselves when they need to. Now, there are a couple of really great lessons around managing one's public image and connecting with customers and clients, and in this case, fans. The first is that when O'Neill signed with Boston, he carefully diagnosed the situation and he anticipated potential landmines and found ways to quickly ingratiate himself with the prickly Boston fans before they could find any fault with him. He did some other really cool things like he posed like a statue in Harvard Square for an hour and let people walk by and look at him. He also went to the famed Cheers bar and sat on a stool there and sang the theme song from the TV show, so very creative. The Boston Pops Orchestra also knows that it needs to grow its fan base, so when it allowed O'Neill to conduct, it knew that it would be bringing all kinds of new fans into its concert halls. And as uh, is, has been reported, it's very unfortunate, but classical music institutions like orchestras and opera companies have been losing paying customers at an alarming rate. So, Shaquille O'Neal collaborates with the Boston Pops. The Boston Pops collaborates with Shaquille O'Neal. They're both happy. The fans are thrilled. Everybody wins. Great lessons in this story.